So, animated movies have existed since the concept of movies. But then there are some movies that are considered animated movies, but they are not animated movies. And there are, and there are some movies that are not considered animated movies, but they really are. Um, the Lion King remake, um, but yeah, there has been people online that are saying that Sonic is an animated movie. So, is Endgame an animated movie? Because, well, I consider an animated movie if there's no real, real life actors in a movie at all. And there'll be people who will try to argue, oh, but Sonic is an animated movie because it's CGI in the movie. Well, by this logic, we'll also at some other movies that should be considered animated movies. Planet of the Apes. The new ones, not the old ones. Well, you know, I but I I know they use motion capture in these movies, but come on, these apes look real. They they the most besides the people in the suits, these apes are mostly CGI. Okay, these apes are mostly CGI. So you're telling me that this is not considered an a, a animated live action hybrid? Okay, but it's not PG. Well, who cares what way the movie is? It still has animated CGI characters in the movie, okay? And this is like the stupidest argument that I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have people on the internet, okay? People are gonna say Detective Pikachu is an animated movie just because it's PZ. Just because of its rating? So that means <laughs> Planet of the Apes is not, and is not, should not be considered a live action CGI movie. Another movie that is basically has points where it is like an animated movie is Justice League. Where the see or the or some scenes in this movie rely so heavily on CGI and CG effects. And yeah. That it's sometimes like is this a movie and even even a channel called I Everything made this and made this as a joke where at a point it's an animated movie more than more than a, it's more like an animated movie than an actual movie. Okay, so you're telling me that this is an, this is not an I have actually animated hybrid when some people even on the internet are joking this movie is an animated movie, and then we have MCU movies. Yep, most of the MCU movies, surprise, surprise, use CGI. Oh yes, Endgame, Guardians of the Galaxy, and you know, <laughs> most of these Marvel movies use CGI. Okay, so you're telling me this scene. Does not have CGI in it, okay? This scene has CGI in it. Come on, you, you, you gotta be telling me that there's no, oh, it's not, it's no, there's no animated parts in my Avengers movies. What? You're telling me that this entire scene and the entire move final battle is not CGI. That the portals are not CGI'd in, okay? You you can tell me that this is not an live action animated movie, okay? But Sonic. Because it has a CGI character, is a is an animated movie. Come on, media! It's like you guys are stupid, okay? Just you know, but oh, but Endgame is rated PG fourteen, so it does not count as an animated movie, okay? You know, it counts as an animated, you know, and yeah, this whole genre should not be a genre of movies. Right? I made live action movies. Because I guess we gotta include Endgame as an animated live action movie, and we have to include, and it's really only because of the rating that these uh, that movies are considered animated live action. You don't have any R rated animated live action movies, do we? No, we do not. We, we you never see someone say, "Oh yeah, Endgame, my favorite animated live action movie of all time." No one's gonna say that because Endgame is not considered a quote unquote. Kids movie. It's considered a quote unquote bro movie because Aladdin is just like any other generic blockbuster that has come out over the past five years. Okay, <laughs> and but they're considered live action. They don't look like considered animated movies. Okay, and you really that we realize that all of these movies have in common the PG movies with like two or three exceptions. They're all PG movies, which means that there is a bias against movies that are over the age of PG-13, but those movies are considered and non-animated movies. It's just, where was the drawing line drawn? Guardians of the Galaxy is not considered an anime movie, even though it has two, even though it has one 
a few a few completely almost CG characters in the movie, okay? You're telling me that Guardians of the Galaxy is not in this category, okay? Or Star Wars, which is one of the movies that should be in this... But then here's one weird one. Star Wars. Yep, Star Wars. You're telling me that this movie is not right back. I must have put Brass Eye. You're telling me that scenes in this movie, there's no C you're telling me that this movie has no CGI in the movie. Despite the movie costing 200 million goddamn billion dollars to fucking make. Okay? Oh, there's no CGI in this scene, okay? There's no CGI in Star Wars, okay? You know, especially episode one was also in PG, but that's not listed as live action animated hybrid. So this whole genre of live action animated and hybrid is a bullcrap genre that was made up just to piss on movies of CGI characters that are said that are family friendly because we can't use the word K word anymore, which is completely ridiculous. Because I guess Star Wars Episode One Two to be considered live action animated movies. Okay, and then we have more movies. We have, we have oh we have we're not done yet. We look at the movie we read about Angel. Let's look at that movie. Is this... Oh, yeah. This movie is, you know, he's considered a live action CGI movie. Just like Endgame. Okay? But, of course, since it's not weird, PZ, well, it's not an animated movie. Like, what? Not not an animated movie? But the CGI in the movie. It, it was bullcrap. This, whole, this entire genre is bullcrap. Okay? Terminator Dark Fate. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it can't be. It's not... Oh, wait. The CGI... The Terminator, uh, Terminators in this movie are also CGI in the movie, okay? Okay? So, we have a genre that completely shouldn't exist of movies because every goddamn modern day movie should be a live action CGI hybrid movie, okay? The only movies that don't fit into this category are movies like Joker where they use green screen for the background. But you're telling me you're making these big CGI fights in movies like Jumanji, Terminator, Endgame, Arita, and you're telling me that those aren't out live action CGI movies, but Detective Pikachu is and Sonic just because they have kid, you know, family friendly characters. Yeah, this genre is bullcrap. It sort of exists. And yeah, whoever may have said, oh, Sonic is an animated movie, but not Endgame because we know what a film, what animated movies truly are. Well, Justice League is more of an animated movie than Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm sorry to tell you that Justice League is more of an animated movie. That movie relies more on CGI than Sonic, the entire Sonic movie itself. Or is that work at, or is that work at every big budget movie? So, technically, every bi big budget... Or, here's another one. Doolittle. <laughs> That's not considered a live action CGI movie? Come on. No, those animals can't talk. Okay, but Sonic is considered it was live action CGI, but not Doolittle. Oh, but that movie gets an extra pass because the animals look realistic. Like the Lion King. That's live action because the animals look realistic. Okay? So you're telling me that any movie of realistic CGI then is not animated. Well, that's bullcrap, essentially, because any character that looks kind of in a cartoon, you like Alvin and Tipmunks and Sonic, oh, they're animated movies, but not do Riddle, not Endgame. Okay? Which definitely have a ton of CGI in the movie. So, overall, what did we want from this video? Okay, that live action animated is not a movie genre. It's a movie genre made up by people to fit in the movie Elvin and Chipmunks. Okay? Because, sorry, but Groot does not exist, doesn't exist just as much as Saki Hedgehog does. And you can, you can make up excuses, oh, but Groot was, was made by the actor in CGI. But you still use CGI to make the character. That doesn't count as animated, okay? Or you have Rocket here, which is basically, you know, voice acted by someone. Oh, that does not count as an animated... That, that, that's not animated? Or just have, you know, characters anime. Or... Oh, wait, we have the biggest elephant in the room. Ready Player One. And Godzilla. Okay? These are the big ones. That are not called animated movies. Come on. Ready Player One, a movie that takes place in a freaking video game. And most of the characters are the CGI then. Okay? Most of the characters from the video games and references are CGI then, okay? You know, you literally have CGI characters in this movie, but that's not, this is not considered a live action animated hybrid. And then we have Godzilla. Oh, yes, Godzilla. Godzilla is not considered anim I guess Godzilla can't be an animated movie either because it's too realistic. 
Come on, it is, it, Godzilla is entirely CGI. There's no act. How can an actor recreate Godzilla's accents in a movie? Okay, so re realistically, Godzilla King of the Monsters should be in live action CGI movies. Which, if Godzilla, it, it, oh, it's not Sid one. It's not Sid one. But Sonic is, but not Godzilla. But because Godzilla is realistic, so it doesn't count as a live action CGI movie. That, uh, you know, brilliant man who, you know, quote-unquote calls books a masterpiece, even though it really isn't. But yeah, the whole genre of live-action CGI is a completely ridiculous genre that still exists. Godzilla King of the Monsters should be classified as the same genre then, Endgame should be classified as one, and Guardians of the Fucking Galaxy should be considered one as well, and Star Wars, and every big-budget movie. So, that means every big-budget movie is live-action animated movie. Yeah, it is a genre that still exists. Goodbye.